Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy December. Gosh, what is it today? The 22nd. That's kind of crazy. We're just a few days away from Christmas. I'm not 100% ready. I don't know if you are, but, but we'll get there, right? We've got a couple more days. We're going to get there. My name is Erin, and I'm coming to you from Dances with Wool, which is a local yarn store located just outside the city of Richmond in Central Virginia. And this is our weekly Inspire Me segment, where we look to give you some making inspiration as you head into your weekend. As always, we want to remind everybody that you can shop us in store. Now, let me real quick go over our holiday hours. All right. Today's Friday. We're open our usual hours today from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tomorrow is Saturday, December 23rd. We will be open our usual hours for a Saturday. So that's going to be 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. So today and tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. regular hours. As always, we will be closed on Sunday and Monday, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We're always closed Sundays and Mondays. That doesn't change for us. But we are also going to be closed on Tuesday, December 26th, okay? So um, we're traditionally always closed the day after Christmas here at the shop. So the brick and mortar will be closed. Of course, the online store is always open, but we'll be closed. So there's no stitch group on Tuesday morning next week. And then we will reopen on Wednesday, December 27th, and we will resume our regular hours from that point forward. So you have today and tomorrow uh, to shop in the brick and mortar, and then we'll be closed December 24th through the 26th, reopen on Wednesday, December 27th. So if you're shopping for any last minute gifts or you suspect somebody may be shopping for you, you might want to give them a quick little heads up if they think that they can run up here on uh, Christmas Eve and get you a quick gift, not at the brick and mortar course gift cards are available on the website guys so that's always a great last minute gift and those get yeah instant email delivery with those so just wanted to have that quick reminder about our holiday hours this is going to be our last inspire me of 2023 it's kind of hard to believe that here we are at the end of the year um but we this is gonna be the last one and as always, we're going to take next Friday off and then we'll resume Inspire Me's on Fridays in January. But as is traditional for us today, what I'm going to be talking to you about is the pattern and topic for our 2024 year long knit along. Now, if you're not familiar, this is going to be 2024. Next year is going to be our seventh annual year lawn knit along. That's kind of crazy to think, too, that we've been doing this for that lawn. But the goal of the year lawn knit along is to take a particular technique or topic um, and pick a pattern that exemplifies that, that maybe if you saw the pattern on your own, like if you were on Ravelry or social media and you saw it, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'd love to make that, but ugh, I don't know that I, I'm, I'm a little intimidated by the idea of tackling that pattern. What we do is we take that pattern and over the course of the year, we break it down into manageable bite-sized chunks and we walk with you the whole way through so that you not only get a chance to tackle this lovely pattern, but also along the way, you learn a lot about uh, that year's focus technique or topic and gain lots of other extra skills that you can put in your knitter's toolbox that then you can turn around and apply to lots of different patterns. So it's always a lot of fun. We learn a lot. Um, we have typically a lot of folks participating every year. And by the end of the year, and like I said, none of you have a beautiful finished object, but you've gained a lot of skills and you've done it in a way that has not monopolized your knitting time for the whole year. Okay. That's never our goal is to take up all your time. So next year, the 2024, the official pattern is we are going to be the little on is called twists and turns mastering cables through modular design. So we're going to be tackling cable knitting next year. And we are going to be doing this lovely pattern. This is called Hana, H-A-N-A, -A, by the designer Junko Okamoto. So you have probably, I guarantee you, you've probably seen some of Junko's designs out there on Ravelry or social media. She's a Japanese designer, really amazing, very cool, different patterns. But we are going to be doing this sweater. This is an oversized um, meant to fit with a lot of positive ease, kind of like your favorite sweatshirt. 
sweater with lots and lots of cables, different styles, different designs. It is a pullover. This one's a good one because it shows you the whole sweater. But what you'll notice about those cables is that they're going different directions. So the way this sweater is constructed, there's a front piece and a back piece and two sleeves. Everything is knit flat and it is all seamed together. Don't turn the video off just because it's not a top down seamless sweater. I promise there's a reason why and there's a lot of great things to learn. But the way this works when you're knitting the front and back panels is that we're going to cast on some stitches, we're going to knit a bunch of fabric, we're going to bind off, then we're going to turn that piece of fabric, we're going to pick up stitches along an edge, and then we're going to knit off in a different direction. So that is where the modular design aspect comes out of this. I'm so excited about this sweater. You can see there's a little bit of contrasting color. So we're going to be learning lots about cables. We're going to be learning about modular design, how to, like I said, knit some, turn, pick up stitches neatly, go off in another direction. We're also going to be learning, of course, all about seaming. So a great reason to seam a heavily cabled sweater like this is that those seams are going to give you some strength, right? You don't want to do this beautiful sweater and then when you put it on it grows and it's like by your ankles by the end of the day seaming helps with that it helps to keep that nice construction in the sweater we're also going to be learning a little bit about embroidery if you like it's optional but actually um, there's a couple of different techniques for seaming the pieces together you can do the traditional kind of mattress stitch seaming we'll cover that but there's also the option to seam your pieces together with embroidery and then do some decorative embroidery as well in different areas of the sweater. Totally optional, but it's just a cool another skill that you could get a chance to learn. Here's another beautiful picture of Junko wearing the sweater. So you can see it's meant to fit you like your favorite sweatshirt. Super cozy, great, great sweater. So again, like I said, everything knit in pieces. Front panel, back panel, two sleeves, and we're going to seam everything together. So we are super, super excited. I found this pattern uh, back this past summer, um, and I'm really, really excited about everything that we can learn. Um, there's some options for different modifications we can talk about, like modifying your sleeve sizes, all that good stuff. So skills that we're going to learn this year, we're going to learn how to knit cables. And cable knitting, if you don't know, um, cables just means that we're gonna swap the order of stitches on our needles so that they move across the fabric in all these different patterns. That's all cable knitting means. So we're gonna learn how to knit both with and without a cable needle. We're gonna learn how to do it without a cable needle. I know that sounds scary, but I promise you can master it. It goes much faster if you can learn how to knit without a cable needle, but we'll cover both. We're gonna learn how to read charts all of the cable patterns for this sweater are charted all right there's no written directions don't turn off the video there's no written directions but we are going to show you how to read cable charts because for things like cables charts are actually great because they give you a wonderful vis visual representation of what you're doing all right so we're going to learn all the tips and tricks about reading i'm going to teach you some tips actually specific to cable chart reading that's going to make it a lot easier for you we're going to learn about picking up stitches neatly along an edge, which you need to do for modular designs. But think about also when you pick up a button band for a cardigan. You know, there's lots of other places where knowing how to pick up stitches neatly will give you a beautiful finished look to your garment. We're going to learn about seaming a pieced garment, right? Um, like I said, we're going to cover a couple of different methods, actually, for seaming, which is going to be great. And also the option to add some embroidery. You can see it kind of here on this one, how to add some optional embroidery, just to add a little bit of flair. Um, we're also going to learn some other things for our knitter's toolbox, including determining positive ease and reading a pattern schematic, right? These are things we know can be a struggle, right? This is meant to fit anywhere from 8 to 20 inches of positive ease. That's a big range, right? We're going to learn all about how do I read a pattern schematic? How do I take measurements so that I can determine how I want my sweater to fit and to figure out what size to make? We're going to learn about blocking the pattern measurements, all right? Because it's going to be really important that all your pieces block out to the correct amount, which means we're also going to learn some good swatching habits. 
And then we're also going to learn about picking the right yarn for your project to get the results that you want. Um, do you go recommend some pretty specific yarn recommendations for this sweater? We're going to have a great video where I go more into depth about that and also help you kind of think through for any project. How do I look at not just the weight of yarn, right? This is a worsted weight sweater, by the way, but not just pick out like any worsted weight yarn, but how do I look at the fiber content and the construction of yarn to make sure that my finished object looks like this? right? Because I'm sure there's been lots of times where you've picked out the same weight of yarn, you've done your swatches, you've got engaged, you've made the whole garment, and you're like, this doesn't look like the pattern, right? And some of that might be because the pattern actually needed a specific kind of yarn, and what you ended up using did not fall within the same parameters. So we're going to learn all about that. Now, we often get asked, can I do the year-long knit-along if I'm a brand new knitter? My answer is going to be, well, to begin with, this is classed of, was more of an intermediate level pattern, all right? I'm never going to tell somebody no. However, because we do have a lot to cover over the course of the year, there are some things I'm just not going to go into um, as we do the support sessions for the year-long knit-along. So skills you already should have going in. Obviously, your basic knitting skills, how to cast on, how to bind off, how to knit, how to purl, how to tell the right side of your fabric from the wrong side of your fabric. You know, if you picked up knitting needles yesterday, this might be a little bit beyond <laughs> what you're quite ready for. Um, you need to be familiar with basic increases and decreases, like knit front and back, make one left, make one right, slip, slip, knit, knit two together. If you have no idea what I just said, none of that sounds familiar. Those are the kind of things I'm just not going to show you. I'm not going to show you how to do a knit two together. I'm going to assume you already know how to do that. Um, reading a pattern, right? You're going to need to be able to read your pattern. You don't have to have experience with chart reading. That I'm going to show you. But just reading a pattern in general, that's something you're going to need to be doing. Um, you don't necessarily need to have made a sweater before just because of the unique construction of this sweater. And I'll go more into the details about that. But um, it can be helpful just because you've been through the process before and you have an idea about how you like sweaters to fit, right? I didn't say you had to do a successful sweater. You just have made one before. So the idea of the construction and, you know, how the sleeves and the body and everything interact with each other, you're familiar with that. So those are the skills that you need to have in order to feel comfortable participating in a year-long knit-along. Now, the way this works, what's going to happen is throughout the course of the year, we are going to take this pattern, like I said, we're going to break it into chunks, and we're going to do a series of support sessions where I will literally walk you through the pattern as we all make it together. These support sessions are done via video, all right? We use the platform called Teachable. Um, we've done it for the past couple of years. People have really, really responded well to it because you can pause the video, you can back it up, you can play it over and over and over again if you need to, um, if life happens and you have to put the project down for a little while and you technically fall behind the timeline, the videos will be there waiting for you whenever you are able to pick it up. You have these videos forever, okay? They will always be yours. And so I've had people do your lawn and lawn so they've had to totally put it down and they come back to it six months later. That's okay. The video support sessions are still there. And they will still walk you through the pattern so that you can get it finished. What's going to happen is every time a new section of videos are ready, they're live on Teachable for you to watch, you're going to get an email newsletter. Okay, those are going to hit your inbox at least once a month. There'll be a link for you to watch the pattern, the new support session videos. And then about a week after they drop, there's going to be a live Q&A session. So this is your chance to ask questions um, after you've watched the videos maybe had a chance to go ahead and start the next section of the project and you got a question, the live Q&A sessions are a chance for you to ask. Obviously, you can always reach out to the shop via email or call or come in when I'm a uh, day that I'm working. That's fine. But we just kind of have these built-in periodic live Q&A sessions to give you a chance to ask questions. You can attend those in person here at the shop or if you can't come in person because you're not local or you just can't make it in that day, we will also be live streaming 
these support, uh, live Q&A sessions on a Facebook group. So you will have access as a year-long, middle-long participant to a private Facebook group. That's where the you'll be able to virtually attend the live Q&A sessions. And then they'll also be saved to that Facebook group for 30 days. So if you have something going on and you can't be at a support session, um, either in person or virtually while it's live, you'll get a chance to go back and watch the um, session again. The designer's name is Junko, J-U-N-K-O, Okamoto, O-K-A-M-O-T-O. Debbie has the pattern linked in the comments, Griselia. If you just want to scroll up a little bit, you'll see she's got a direct link to the pattern on Ravelry um, where you can check that out. So you'll be able to attend, like I said, we'll have live Q&A sessions. You'll get your email newsletters. In the newsletters also will be extra resources I think might be helpful. There'll be fun extras like maybe a book recommendation or a recipe. Those will hit your email inbox once a month at least. Sometimes it'll be more often, especially at the beginning, but at least once a month you'll get those. So you'll have video support sessions. We'll walk you through each part of the pattern, a live Q&A sessions, every time new videos drop so that if you watch them, you've got questions, you have a built-in place to ask. You get a far private Facebook group where you can interact with your fellow knit along participants, also gives you another place to ask questions, get advice, share your progress, cheer each other on. And then I'm trying to make sure, and that, so those are all the things that you are going to get when you sign up for the year long knit along. And remember that those videos are yours forever on Teachable. So my folks who participated in the year long knit along in 2022 or 2023, they have those videos, that video series, that it's theirs forever. And this one will be yours if you sign up. So the registration fee is $120. Okay, that's your participation fee. That covers the that cover gum glass. See, chart, see Veronica chart reading. You have to hang in there, but it does help. So the $120 registration fee covers your video support sessions, and those are yours to keep forever. It covers your email newsletters that come out at least once a month, your live Q&A sessions, your private Facebook group where you can interact with everybody. All right? So it does not include your pattern or your supplies. That's all extra. So we are going to start taking signups for this on January 2nd. All right. So you've got a little bit of time to think about it. Look at the pattern. Look at the projects. I highly recommend going in and looking at the projects because there are some modifications you can make with this sweater, some interesting ones that people have done. Um, but I highly recommend taking a look at the pattern, take a look at the projects. And what's going to end up happening is that as a year-long knit along participant, you will get the opportunity to put in a special order for your yarn. When are the live sessions? Uh, the live sessions tend to be Sunday afternoons, Sarah. That's when I usually do the live Q&A sessions because I know that a lot of people do work during the day. Um, remember that if you can't attend the live um, session when it's actually happening on that Sunday afternoon, it does get live streamed into the Facebook group. It is saved for 30 days. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask, but you can't be there at the live Q&A session, I actually um, provide a Google form. You'll get that every time a live Q&A session is coming up where you can submit a question. I will answer it during the live Q&A, even if you're not present at the time. And then because it gets saved to the Facebook group, then you can go back and watch it. And I will answer your question, even though you weren't there either physically or virtually live while it was happening. But let's do a quick about yarn. So we have three yarn recommendations for this sweater. Again, it's a worsted weight sweater. And I will go into, if you choose to sign up for the year long knit along, there is a video support session that you'll watch that'll explain why um, we went into, the, again, will help you kind of think through how to match your yarn fiber content and construction to your project and why we picked these three specific yarns. But just to give you a quick overview, um, we have got three yarn recommendations. Um, we will have all these in the shop. Of course, it's not required that you buy yarn from us to participate. You just have to pay your registration fee. But we hope that you would like to support us by buying your yarn from us. Um, but we will have these in the shop. But we will also be putting in special orders for our year-long year -long knit along participants. Okay, You're going to get more information about that after you sign up. But our three 
recommendations are our brand new yarn that just hit our shelves this week. This is Shelter by Brooklyn Tweed. So we've got Shelter, and this is the option you're going to see me use in all the support session videos. This is a wonderful, wonderful 100% um, American Targi Columbia wool yarn, non-superwash, a little bit of Tweedy bits in it. So that's going to be one option. You're also going to have the option of our shop favorite wool stock by Blue Sky Fibers. Remember, it comes in 50 gram and 150 gram skeins. So that's your second option. The third option is arriving here shortly. <laughs> Not quite here yet, but it's the Lanus by Barocco. We have the Lanus Light, which is the sport weight version. Um, that's been in the shop for a while. We really love it. It's a great yarn, great non-superwash, 100% wool yarn. Um, we will be getting the Lanus, which is the worsted weight version of this as well. But as I said, we'll have it all three options in the store for you to look at, but as a year-long knit-along participant, you will be able to look at the color cards and order whatever color you like in the quantity that you need, all right? We'll be putting in special orders just for our year-long knit-along participants, um, and so that'll be something you'll get more information about once you sign up. We'll be taking those orders in January and then getting them sent off to the yarn companies so that we get those in and you can get exactly the color you want, how many skeins you need, and you're not going to have to necessarily depend on what we can physically stock in the store because, of course, we can't necessarily carry every color, right, of these yarns that these manufacturers make. We just don't have, we have room, but we don't have that much room, guys. So that's the 2024 year-long knit-along. So the pattern, again, is Hana, H-A-N-A, -A, by Junko Okamoto. It's linked in the comments. It is also going to be linked. If you go to our website right now under classes and events, the year-long knit-along page has been updated for, with everything for 2024. So all this information I talked about today, it's all going to be up there for you to review. The pattern is linked there as well, so you can check that out on Ravelry. And then the timeline, everything is up there for you to take a look at. Um, and so we're going to be doing twists and turns Mastering Cables through Modular Design. We really hope that you'll join us. We've had a lot of fun. Um, we've been doing this, like I said, this is our seventh annual near year-long knit-along. I really hope that you will consider joining us. It's going to be great. Um, if you have any questions, you can, uh, after we're not live, you can absolutely pop them into the comments here. Um, you can check out the website. Like I said, our website under Classes and Events, there's a whole page for the year-long knit-along. Check that out as well. You can always give us a call or shoot the shop an email. We'd love to answer any questions that you may have. And we will begin taking signups on January 2nd. Okay, so Tuesday, January 2nd, they'll be up, up on the website. Or you can obviously sign up here at the shop as well. $120 covers all of the video support sessions on Teachable, which are yours to keep forever. The live Q&A sessions the email newsletters that come to your inbox at least once a month, those are exclusive to year-long knit-along participants, the private exclusive Facebook group just for Cal participants, and eventually, I know we've been saying it's it's been a long time coming, but our um, Dances with Wool uh, U Virtual University will be launching on Teachable in January, and prior year-long knit-alongs along with some other video classes will be available for anybody to purchase, but when the the year-long knit-along series goes to that point, um, people coming to it after the fact, they are going to pay $150 for that class, and they don't get all the extras, right? They don't get live Q&A sessions or a private Facebook group or email newsletters. All they get are the video sessions. So by signing up for the 2024 year-long knit-along, you will get those video support sessions plus all the extras, and you're getting it for less than what it will cost somebody who comes further down the road, all right? So strongly suggest you take a look. Think about joining us. We're going to have so much fun making this absolutely gorgeous oversized cable sweater called Hana by Junko Okamoto. This is the last Inspire Me for this year, so we will be back in January. We hope everybody has a lovely holiday season. 
Um, remember that we are open today and tomorrow, but we'll be closed December 24th through the 26th. Um, although our website is always open and email gift gift cards can always be purchased with uh, immediate email delivery. If you know anybody who's running around last minute shopping for you, make sure you let them know that that's an option. And I will see everybody uh, in the new year and hopefully we'll see lots of you signing up for our year-long knit-along on January 2nd.